In his last birthday, our friend Joe has been gifted with a mobile phone. But wait, he didn't seem very happy. What's the matter, Joe? Oh, wait. You don't have a SIM card, do you? Yes, a SIM card. A SIM card is a subscriber identity model card which is physically a thin sheet of metal placed on a plastic card. This metal sheet doesn't look normal and it surely makes us wonder, how does it work? That tiny little sheet or a piece of metal is generally a microcontroller which is capable of storing digital data under 1 MB. This digital data can be contact numbers, text messages, etc. So that you can still be joyous about your phone in the absence of Wi-Fi. One contact number uses about 8 bytes of your storage. Hence, 125,000 numbers can easily be stored in a single SIM card. Back in old school when communication needed wired transmission channel like your telephone, there was still a geoparty of cross connection and well, people still found strangers for life. However, in this new era of wireless transmission, the mobile towers always transmit booms of signals but these signals must know where they ought to reach. Hence, SIM card play an important role of not only notifying the location of the signal but also sharing the digital information. When a person gets registered to a new SIM card, initially an ID number is sent to the provider where it gets encrypted to a key which is then sent to the user and gets decrypted. If the keys match, the user gets verified by the provider and that leads to foolproof protection of files, numbers as well as the bucks you spend for buying paid games. The size of a SIM card has experienced a major miniaturization throughout its tenure, that is, from the size of a credit card to the size of the nail of your little finger. So Joe, Joe, oh, it seems that he went to get himself subscribed to a network. Meanwhile, get yourself subscribed too to unlimited package of fun and learning. And as always, thanks for watching.